In this example, we're going to take the derivative of a function and use the product rule. If f of x is equal to 3x times the sine of x minus 5 cosine of x, finding the derivative will require the use of the product rule and the sum and difference rule. This function has two terms. The first term is 3x times the sine of x, and the second term is negative 5 cosine of x. The first term has two factors, 3x and sine of x. And to take the derivative of those two factors, we're going to need to use the, po the product rule. While the second term does technically have two factors, negative 5 and cosine of x, the first factor is a constant. And using the constant multiple rule, when taking the derivative of that term, the negative 5 will just come along for the ride and be part of the derivative of the cosine of x. Let's take the derivative. The sum and difference rule tells us that we can take the derivative of each term separately. Taking the derivative of the first term is going to require the product rule. In the first term, the first factor is 3x, and the second factor is the sine of x. The product rule states that the derivative of a product is the first factor times the derivative of the second plus the second factor times the derivative of the first. So in this case, the first factor unchanged is 3x, and the derivative of the second factor, sine of x, is cosine of x. That is the first factor times the derivative of the second factor, and then we'll add to that the second factor, unchanged, sine of x in this case, times the derivative of the first factor, and the derivative of the first factor is 3. These two terms represent the derivative of 3x times the sine of x. Now we will take the derivative of negative 5 cosine of x. The derivative of the cosine of x is the opposite of the sine of x, so the derivative of negative 5 cosine of x is positive 5 sine of x. Here we have the derivative. I'm going to clean it up a little bit and rewrite it as 3x cosine x plus 3 sine of x plus 5 sine of x. Now in this case, the last two terms, 3 sine of x and 5 sine of x, can be combined. And we'll state our final answer for the derivative of f of x as 3x cosine of x plus 8 sine of x.